Okay, here with Coach Holtman. Holtman, you guys got a sweep today, picked up two games, uh, got a nice victory in the first one, good pitching for Maria. Uh, talk to a little bit about Maria's performance in game one. Uh, Maria's Maria. She comes out every game and she knows her job, she knows what she needs to do, and she does it with game face. And, um, you know, I guess it would be nice to expect every game for her, her to have zero run score against her, but it's kind of what we've come used to. And, um, you know, when her stuff's on, she's really hard to hit. She's very effective and makes her one of the best pitchers, if not the best pitcher in the conference. And Jill McDaniels had a big first game. She went three for four, had that walk-off double. Um, what is it about Jill, especially at home, uh, with her hitting? She, she puts them on play hard. So whether or not it's a line drive, home run, ground ball, she makes the defense work to get out. And uh, when you have to make the defense work harder than you're working, then good stuff always happens. Maria, you picked up your fifth win on the season. You're five and one now. Uh, picking up the, the win in game one. Uh, talk to us a little bit about how, how you felt out there today. Uh, well, coming out, I mean, it's the first game of the season, really, home opener, and um, just preparing. Uh, we knew that Simon Frazier is a good hitting team, so just went out wanting to make sure that I hit my pitches and hit my spots well and kept the ball moving throughout the whole game, and it was nice that we uh, got it done in five innings and didn't have to throw as many, kept the pitch count down, so. And uh, tell us the comfort level you have when you have players like Mike Galusha and Jill McDaniels out there swinging the bat when you're throwing well. It helps. It helps a lot. And not even just those two. I mean, one through nine in the lineup are come out, you know, they're swinging hard. And we know off the players off the bench, too, they, you know, are hitting hard. So there's not, there's not a gap in our lineup. There's no hole in our lineup. So that's obviously really comforting. And then also the defense behind me is solid. I mean, there's no gaps in our infield, no gaps in our outfield, so it's, it's easier. Okay, Ma, you had a big hit in game two. Uh, we struggled a little bit defensively, but we're behind. When we came back, you had a big double. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that at bat. Um, I was struggling the f first game as well, and then the second game, and I've always told myself that the last bat is the one that matters, so taking opportunities to bring in runners when I could. And tell us a little bit, how did, how did it feel when you hit that ball you got a, and you, you scored what you thought was two runs, ended up being one. Tell us the feelings that you had sitting there on second base. Um, I felt like I accomplished my job, and, which was a great feeling because it helped our team out come ahead. And I was a little annoyed that they called it back to the double, but that's all right. Jill, you had a huge first game, going three for four, a couple of RBIs, and you had a walk-off double. Uh, talk to us a little bit about your performance in game one. Um, it's our first league game, and I know everybody wanted to come out and make a statement during that game. And we did. We scored every inning, and I think it was a real big team team effort to do so. And we ended up eight running in, so. And take us through, what does it feel like for walk-off to, I mean, it's not a home run. It wasn't like it was a, you know, a tie game and you put us over the top. But yeah. uh, to have a walk-off for you end the game on a hit, what's, what, what does that feel like? To give us some nice. of the emotions. It's really, it's nice to know. I mean, I saw it hit the ground and I knew they would score. So it's just relieving. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.